Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. Magazines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry. A girl can't complain. I live in upscale life. Dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't. Smack us. No. No. Sit back and shut up. Let's go be great. Nobody puts money in the Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the World Bar, located at 845 United Nations Plaza, and I'm here with this very, very famous stunt actor, Derek, Derek Simmons. So Derek, darling, you have a very difficult job. I do. And I Working as a stunt actor. Absolutely, and I love it. Now, how did you get involved in all of this? I know you must have just started out as being an actor, and then you saw what, it, what was involved. That's correct. I started off as a kid act. I started doing acting. I started doing commercials when I was 10 years old, and uh, went to junior high school performing arts. And when I graduated high school, well, during high school, doing the acting thing, they used to pull me out of scenes and say, no, we need a stuntman to do it. And I used to say, no, I can do my own stunts. And they said, no, 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 you can't. So I started training with different stunt guys, and um, finally they opened the door for me. And I started doing stunts. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Stop! Stop! Hey, stop! over a hundred movies. movies. Over a hundred movies. I do a lot of Tyler Perry movies. I did uh, Tyler Perry movies. I, or, I do a lot of Tyler Perry movies. Um, that's out right now. Why did I get married to? Last month I did a Bruce Willis um, and Tracy Morgan movie called Cop Out. That came out. Um, do a lot of Law and Orders. Used to do New York Undercover. Right now I'm working on Rescue Me. It's a fireman. Yes, I know. Did you talk to the firefighters out front? Yeah, yeah, I saw them out front. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's been a real good ride. Tell my audience, what was the most difficult movie that you worked on with the stunts? Um, I think it was a TV show called um, Third Watch. Really? Third? Why was that? Why was Third Watch so difficult? Well, I had to get hit by a car. Oh my God! <laughs> and uh, it was a real good. That's hit. a difficult scene to oh, do. Yeah. Absolutely. How, how many takes did you have to do that? Well, for that one, I did one. That was that's all they that's, needed. Oh my God! But it, it Thank was, God! It was rough. Wow. That, tell me some others. I mean, did you go like have to go up real high? Did you ever have to do anything very high? Yeah, I've done high falls. Um, 
set on fire? Did the Letterman show being set on fire? Um, a lot of, um, I do a lot of stunt driving, making the car spins, 180s, 90s. Um, uh, I do everything except for swim with sharks and wrestle alligators. Oh my God. <laughs> Have you ever jumped out of a plane? I haven't jumped out of a plane. I've jumped off a building. Oh, you I've did jump from the bridge. building? Yes. You uh, jumped from a bridge too? And a bridge. And, uh, you know, it comes with the job. Comes with the job. Well, job. you can really pretty much work now as a firefighter or as a police officer if you sure. really wanted to because you have that behind you, right, so, if you really wanted to. Sure, I learn a lot from them. But it's a, do you really, do you, do you do a lot of like research? Do you do a lot of homework as to how yeah. these guys do what they do? Yeah, there's a lot of, um, for stunts, there's a lot of technical stuff that goes behind it. Um, daredevils are different than stuntmen. Daredevils, they'll look at a fall and they'll say, yeah, I can do it, but they don't measure. Stuntmen, everything is safe. They, um, we measure everything, we know exactly you have to. You, you know, have to be we very live, precise. We live very little room for error. It's really like a science, isn't it? It's almost it like science scientific. It's, not, it's scientific that way you have to make sure that that scene goes so perfectly with no mishaps. Absolutely. And anything can go wrong. So um, that's why they hire us, because anything can Is go wrong. Is the insurance very high for you? I mean, oh, yeah, absolutely. I would imagine. Absolutely. I can imagine. But you got to have it. You have to. <laughs> You're not married. I'm married to my career. You're married to your career. Wow. That's a marriage. That's really a marriage. Oh, yeah. A lot of overtime. Do you, now, I know you're a stunt actor, but do you ever get to speak lines? Do you ever act yeah. with other actors? Yeah. yeah, I've done a lot of acting roles. I started off as an actor. And uh, I enjoy doing the stunts. I enjoy doing, doing them both. I'm also um, directing now. So I just ventured out into that a few years ago. I directed two independent films. One was titled Jump Offs. It's about um, men cheating in relationships. And last year I made another one called Women Do It Better. And it's how women are better cheaters than men because they plan out. This is true, darling. Yeah. This is true. Yes, it is. <laughs> so. Well, just like you, I'm married, but I, I, I have a husband, but I'm also married to my career. I love interviewing celebrities and movie stars and reality stars and people like yourself so my husband has to pretty much share me because I this is my love too what I'm doing right now it's a is wonderful it, thing. isn't it a wonderful thing is there any particular actor that you've worked with that you really enjoy working with them you know I've worked with everybody from Bill Cosby to to Bruce Willis, to uh, Michael Jackson. Um, Michael Jackson, to Michael too? Michael Jackson. Um, I've worked with everyone. What was everyone. he like to work for Michael Jackson? He was very nice. He was very nice. Very sweet very guy. Very nice guy. Everyone I, says that. I remember on the set they would tell us, um, nobody talked to Michael. Nobody talked to Michael. You know, they kind of wanted him to keep his privacy. But after the third day on set, he approached me and said, Derek, are they working you too hard? And I said, Huh? I was like, wow, Michael knows my name. He was like, are they working you too hard? I said, no, they're not working me hard. He goes, if they're working you too hard, let me know, okay? I was like, okay. And I was like, wow. So, you know, I was high from just Michael Jackson knows me. Well, you know, everybody's <laughs> intimidated by it, was right. very intimidated by him because he was such a superstar that they didn't want anyone to ruffle his feathers or right. upset him. So right. this is why they told you, don't talk to him. Right. I know I go through that too, but that's my job. I have to talk to the celebrities. Right. And, you know, he wanted to be talked to, so. Yeah, he did, he did. If my audience wants to find out more information about what you're working on next, where right. can they go on the internet? Do you have a Facebook page? I have a Facebook page. You can, um, you can Google me, Derek Simmons, or you can go to my web, web, website first, which is www. DerekSimmons.com. That's D E R R I C K S I M M O N S dot com. And it has links from my MySpace, Facebook, everything. Very simple. Yes. Very simple. Well, I want to thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to me here thank at the World me. Trump Bar located at 845 United Nations Plaza. Are you going to give me a kiss goodbye, darling? Sure.
We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Oh, I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a fancy blonde, fancy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.